So, welcome to another how-to video. This one is one of the most exciting ones we've done. It's going to be showing you a little bit of the facial recognition system we do. And I must say, being in this industry for as long as I have, I'm very impressed with it. Really looking forward to how we progress with it and getting it out there in front of some of you guys. The feedback from some of the exhibitions we've done is absolutely excellent. So we're going to give you a quick overview of this. So what we're going to first show you is the facial recognition system. So we're taking screen grabs directly from the facial, rec facial recognition NVR. It's a special NVR. It's the IDS-9632NXI-I8 forward slash 4F. So this unit on GUI 4, on the latest GUI 4, because it only works on the GUI 4, can have up to four facial rec recognition cameras added to it. So the current facial recognition camera is this one here. It's looking at our front door, if I just double click it. It's the dual lens looking camera um, for the accuracy, although we are looking at um, a seven series dome that will support it. It'll bring the cost down slightly, but the performance won't be affected, um, which is the main thing. So we've got three cameras added to it. This is the proper face recognition camera. But as you can see, if I go back uh, one we've got two four line cameras added to it as well now they still work still perform reasonably well but for the performance aspect because it's facial recognition and the nature of the uh, the installation and the sensitivity of it we would rather you use the correct camera and then that, that way you're not going to see any issues so first of all we've got it in the target detection mode so we've got the uh, smart analysis target detection mode enabled so on the left hand side here anyone that passes by that camera is uh, basically showing you a snapshot of that target with the red box and um, telling you the time and date and D1 is the is the camera channel now if I click on this this is Scion big shout out to Scion if I click this it'll show you the video of him when he was captured as you can see there it wasn't a full on uh, front facial read but it still got the a good side on view so it is able to do the capture again if we look at this one uh, double click on Jane so again it'll show you the footage of Jane passing wasn't a full-on you can see is the WDR mode isn't set up correctly um, but it's still quarter so it's very good performance and um, considering if we scroll down there's some more down there and say we got Chris there coming in through the door and he'll be captured and then there was Sion when he got captured talking there so uh, that's just a little brief snapshot of uh, on the left hand side of the last targets caught and you can play them directly back so what the system is designed to do is a couple of things we can do from this now is we can go into uh, the smart analysis page which is where all the uh, facial recognition functionality is done on the nvr directly and we've got a couple of things we can do so we can click on smart search there now if i want to just capture a picture so if somebody's been into my premises i want to search anyone who's so all of the faces that have been captured um, it's very easy to do, so I can click search by event, select the camera, we'll leave all selected, time and date, etc., and then we'll click start search. Now this will go through and it'll find all of our captures. So again, if you double click on it, it'll play that video like it did on the side. Just wait for this to catch up and click play. And that's our boiler man come in to fix our boiler. We had a bit of boiler trouble, hey, uh, he's just doing that. So. You can do the same there. Um, you can filter it by time and date, just the pictures. So you've got a uh, target picture, source picture. So it'll just show the image, a capture image instead and double click on that and it'll still play it. Um, let's just get back over there. So many ways you can use this search. And then if you scroll down the side there, there's a lot, a lot of images so far. 1,013 images just today. So if I go back to this bit where we've got the video capture there. So two ways you can do it. You can either, so if, for instance, we've searched all our faces, we're happy and we've exported the data we want, so we can highlight a camera and then click export there, and it'll export that as if it was a standard video footage to a USB stick or uh, medium that you want to download to. What we can do then is, if, for instance, Scion is a bit of a naughty man and we want to know next time he comes into the building, so we want to do a, a notification or an alert based on Scion being recognized, we can click on Scion and we can add to, add to face database. Click on add, click on OK, give him a name, and we'll call him Scion. There's me trying to type on my keyboard on my PC and realizing it doesn't work. I'll give him a phone number, 999. Click on OK, he's now been added to our database. 
and you can keep on doing that through the list. The database, you can have different databases with different names and multiple faces added to different databases. It's about a 50,000 face limit per database um, or 55,000 currently uh, as a total. So there's great flexibility there. So what we can do now as well, so we've showed you quickly how to search for the faces. Um, what we can do now is search for a specific face. So if I just on the left hand side go to smart analysis and then go to smart search again. So we've done search by event, which is all of the captured images. Sorry, got a bit of an itchy beard. I uh, need to put my uh, beard balm on more often. <laughs> if we click on search by picture, what I can do now is upload a sample from the face database. So if I click on this, it allows me now to select one of the predefined images that we've already uploaded. So for test purposes, we're going to select myself click on Dave, click on OK, and it adds me to the search list. So you can add up to five faces. Again, you can narrow the search down to a specific camera and time and date. The similarity is left at 80%, so we can adjust that. By default, we'll leave it at 80%, and we'll show you the reason why in a minute. So we'll click, let's click on, so from the beginning of the week, Monday, or let's go for Sunday, click on OK, click on Start Search. It'll now go through and search all of the footage of me in it. As you can see, it gives you the reference on the right hand side and the capture shot of me. So it marks it out with a percentage. So it's looking for anything over 80%. Now, if it didn't find me specifically on that search criteria, we can make it 70% and it would start to look more outside of the 20% scope that it had. So if I click on this one, again, it shows you the sample image and, and myself when I came into the building, into the room. That's a uh, four line camera 100% match to my sample picture as you can see I do look very similar that picture was taken a good 10 months ago so as you start to go through it you can see some of the percentage drops like as I look at it slightly weird I got a bit of a, a strange murder look on my face there um, but you can keep going through these so it's a 99% and that's from the true face recognition camera look inside on back with the, all of the color behind me again if I scroll through these There's some interesting ones in here. Although you probably will get bored of looking at my face, but if we keep going down, the capture software does slow this up slightly. But if we keep going down, you'll see even when the background color is different, it's still capturing me fine. So that was uh, this morning when I came in. And you'll even see, if we, if we scroll down far enough, you'll even see where there's infrared. So there we go, we'll look at this camera here, 97% match, click on that, and that's with infrared. So again, double click on it, press play, and that's when I came in with the infrared on uh, yesterday. Still caught me and a 98% match. So you'd agree that is very good performance. Um, what we can do then is we can take this a step further. So for instance, if I just click on Smart Analysis and it tells us we got three cameras linked 50% usage. If I go to Smart Search, search by picture so you can search by name as well you can actually pick a name that we've got in the database and search specifically for that search by the picture we can actually now retrospectively if i click upload sample from local image as so i click on this i've got a usb stick plugged in i've got some interesting footage here so if we look at some of the sample images let's go right down to the bottom and it should have dave one there so if I upload this file here, import that. So that's one of me hunting. So I can select with a hat on, click upload, and click a couple of days. Okay, click start search. So it's still matching me to that face there. I've got a hat on, outside, different things. So you can see the percentage has started to drop. I've got my eye clo eyes closed there, so it can't uh, see my pupils correctly, my facial features, but it still matched me 81%. Now, if I reduce the similarity and made that from 80 down to 70, and click Start Search, you'll start finding more and more of these images coming through based on my upload picture. So, if I then go back to the search, um, and then we'll put another one in, so click on that one, and we'll put a different one in. Actually, we won't, we'll upload Upload from sample. Now, this is an interesting one. 
If I take one from 10 years ago, and you'll see uh, I'm very king of the pout on this one. It's probably up there under Dave. So if I select this one, click import. So this is a, a, a pouty one. So if I select my face from that image, click upload, and I'll search for that. Again, still matching me, 10-year-old image, still giving me a 76, 77% match, which is still a very good percentage, still allows me to find myself. And if I search for the criteria over you know, longer period, click OK, click Start Search, it starts to find more of me, and the percentage goes up. So it, again, very good performance. Still hasn't put anyone else in there other than myself, so it's not um, mixing me up with anybody. And then this is the real um, good one that I like to show. Again, upload from local USB stick. Another image is 10 years ago. Go right down to the bottom. Click day three, import. Now again, 10 year old image. This is when I used to go to the gym when I had time for that instead of uh, doing what I do for the industry. and. Uh, so now I don't go to the gym, now I just eat. So select my face, click upload, click start search, and again, even higher percentage. So no facial hair in that one, looking side on, still capturing me even higher percentage. Again, if I, when I, even if the image was corrupted and I had a, a tear in the image, it would still pick out key features of that image, of the outline of the image, and still find facial features and match it against the database. So as you'd imagine, that is very, very useful for anybody. And you can adjust all the parameters there. Um, go back to event. What you can do then is, it's still a normal NVR, so all of the other standard features are in there. What you can also do, if you wanted, if you go into system, and then you go into event, smart event, and the facial recognition, so the facial recognition camera, and the face comparison, we can actually enable databases and select if it's a normal mode or stranger comparison. So if the face that was detected doesn't compare to something in the database, we can send that for comparison to the software. And so it's almost like if somebody came on your site, it didn't detect them, uh, like a school uh, scenario, for instance, you can send that to a, uh, the software, which can be then cross-referenced, and then you can either act on that either way, send somebody to, to meet them, tell them to go away, call the police, or do nothing. And you can adjust the similarity there. So under the upload similarity is if it's 63% or over or 63% or under, um, whichever way you want to do it, then you can do the enable output pulse. So on face recognition detection, we can then do a trigger. We can do send an email. We can trigger an output. You can do an audible alarm, a full screen warning. You save the picture in the database. Lots and lots of things that you're already used to with the standard VCA functionality. So. Let's just go back to here. So we've got back to the main screen now. Again, the functionality is very similar from the, although it's GUI for the similarity from the rest of the system will be very familiar to you guys. You guys are very used uh, to the height vision format. Again, hopefully this video will give you an insight to those who haven't seen the facial recognition system yet, who wanted to see it. Again, if you want to see it, come in and see us. We've got a set up here. We take it to exhibitions. Uh, Hype Vision have got it set up in their, in their uh, uh, showrooms. Um, it's a Friday, so forgive me, losing my tongue. But other than that, hopefully you'll see it's a very powerful solution. And again, if you've got any questions, please come to us at DVS. Uh, ask your salesperson, drop us a line at DVS. Um, technical, so that's technical at dvs.co.uk. Or just give us a shout like normal people. And as you can see there, quite poignant. Roger is added to the database. So you can see from here, it, when I've got this mode enabled on the left-hand side, it uses a reference shot compared to his shot just taken and it's a 90% match. So again, even on the live view, it shows you the comparison if that person is added to the database. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when things like this come online. And uh, give us a like, share away, and see you soon. Cheers, guys.